Hey everybody, it's Zach, the Christian Thrifter. All right, we're out here outside of an estate sale in Southwest Florida. It's a little different. It starts at 10 a.m. I don't know if they're gonna let anybody in before that, but I'm gonna go up and try to see if I can get in 15 minutes early. I wanna thank everybody for the support, all the likes, all the subscribers, um, and continuing to comment to cheer me on to do these things. Hopefully we find some amazing stuff in there. So stay tuned. We're gonna go line up and see if we can't get in. God bless you guys. Hello? So, can I come in? Oh, wait, you want me to wait? Sure, okay. Okay, thank you. Good, good, good. I have some stuff on the kitchen table that I bought. It is very cool. Watch me that one piece falls off. I saw that on Yeah, I go out there and actually, yeah, that was mine, and I said, I don't want to put it over in the sand. Because I was going to keep them, but then, you know, I'm in the corona. Two more room, two bedrooms off the side back there. Okay. But what are you looking for? Um, I look like electronics, video games, any old video games, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, anything like that. Um, uh, records. Uh, I don't know. I like that statue, but I didn't know. 70. Yeah, he's, he's looking up. Yeah, no, he's, he's pretty very, neat. Very, very expensive. He's just... Yeah. At this point, Hello. Hi, how are you? Not too bad.
explained it. I have a collection. This is not for sale? Oh, okay.
Hey everybody, I just had to jump on here real quick and thank you so much for sticking with me. You know, people have this misconception that, that people who are pickers or resellers are always just trying to look to take advantage of people and that couldn't be further the truth for me uh, in that it's easy in that from watching YouTube you'll just find stuff all the time and I mean honestly I pretty much do find stuff all the time but there does come a time like this sale where you have to pick through the stuff through the junk and when you find some things they're overpriced and it just doesn't work um, but if you persevere and you're persistent in your search you will always find something uh, and just like what I'm saying right now if you stay tuned I go to a Goodwill after this and I find some pretty amazing stuff uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you're getting anything from this content but the reality is the best is yet to come stay tuned Fake. It's wood. What, were you asking for? Were you asking something? I'm sorry. No. Oh, okay. Then you asked I haven't found anything. Did you look to see what that was going for? Yeah, uh, but it's wood and not bronze. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's the resin one. Yeah. Yeah. This stuff is very, very, very popular. I could do um on that one. What do I have? I have 70 on I could do 15 off. What about this? Would you do five on this guy? No, I could no? do eight on them. Did you go half price and do that the last thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think that bleach stuff. Believe it or not, they all look like that. I gotta buy something. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> I'm glad you take it because I, I had otherwise, otherwise I just have to. Yeah. I really don't need it, but he's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm locked in the hallway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just Forgive didn't want to push you. <laughs> you should have just pushed me. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that was a little rough. Uh, there wasn't nearly as much stuff as you'd like to find at an estate sale. Um, actually, it seems like they donated it and the lady actually brought extra stuff over, which is in the garage. Uh, and she said she needed more time to, to get it out. And apparently, it's she's been up for two days straight, hasn't eaten anything but two donuts. And uh, to put together that, which was, I don't know, that was 
doesn't look like two days worth of work, but I don't know. And she was hesitant to even sell things that were under the table because she hadn't gone through them yet. So I have a feeling they're gonna have a lot of stuff left over on Sunday when she says it's half off time. But what I did find is uh, this Murano glass pelican, the fish in his mouth. I got him for $8, uh, it goes about 22. I got this um, Forstner knife made in Switzerland. It's a butcher knife, looks pretty good. I think there's a little bit of paint or something here, um, but the rest of it looks pretty clean. In the sleeve, I 33 bucks on that. This little box of pins, uh, I paid three bucks for. It's vintage camel brass lighter, I think it's brass. Uh, it looks, maybe it's fake brass. And then this Marlboro, this is definitely brass. It says brass number six on it. I haven't looked up the soil comps on those. Maybe I'll look something up and pop it up. Um, I can definitely get you on this pelican and this knife. But all in all, it was okay. I spent an, one hour almost exactly inside of the house. Um, so it's not always riches when you pick. And everybody thinks that we take advantage of people and we're, we're that's not really true. It's a lot of work sourcing, listing, packing, and shipping. So um, you let me know in the comments if you would spend an hour to, to get what I found. Uh, hopefully we find some more stuff over the weekend, but this is Friday, estate sale pop-up. We'll stay tuned. Uh, we'll see what I find.